Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. We're going to go at it again today. Man, last week, two hours. That was uh, that was heavy. But today, I think it's time to go into one of the castles, right? We've got the map right here. So I've got the blue castle and the black castle left. I think I'm going to go in the black castle. Um, I've made a deck uh, that you can see here. It's white and it's black. So my idea is there's going to be um a lot of a lot of uh hypnotic specters right that's that's what i want to say so i thought let's just add four swords to plows here four weaknesses so i can take them on then of course i've got uh you know maybe some some white hate to deal with some black knights so i've got a lot of uh, other cards here in the deck as well to stop the black knights like the dancing scimitar for example so i kind of feel ready with this deck I mean, we'll see. I, I think if I reach, if I'm close enough to the castle, I'm going to try to find some space for Karma's because Karma's also quite good. Uh, but the Black Castle's over here, so I've got quite a while to walk still. So I'm just going to go down slowly and surely towards the Black Castle. Wish me, ooh, trade Black Amulet for any enchantments. I've got 11 of those. But I don't think I need any enchantments. Anyway, let's just walk down. Let's go and see how far we can get. There we go, everybody's leaving me alone. They're like, I don't wanna fight the big wizard. I don't wanna do it. We've got a news flash. For one black amulet, I refill the deck of any black creature. Never mind. So every time they're attacking and getting a city, I'm actually losing life, right? So I'm losing uh, one of my mana links. So there's the black castle, pretty close. So hopefully I can get there before he takes the other city. Let's go down, 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 down. He should be very close right now. Don't see it yet. Oh, he got another castle. Lost a mana link. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so I missed it apparently. Oh, man, that's annoying. So let's go back up. The good news is everybody's leaving me alone. Like I'm so powerful. They're like, no, oh, there's a black castle. Because now they're attacking like crazy, right? So it's really the time to, to try to get into these castles and kind of try to beat the wizards. Who dares to challenge me? Yes, I'm gonna challenge you. Rod of Ruin, okay. There we go. Hypnotic Spectre, okay, that's good. Hypnotic Spectre to start. That's not too shabby. Let's go to the question. What is the total casting cost of Brothers of Fire? That's two red and one. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no, my hypnotic specter is gone. That's annoying because I could only use it against this dude. Um, gotta fight the Vampire Lord. I guess the good news is they're starting with a Rod of Ruin, which is not that bad. Um, I guess I can keep this. Mm. My hand doesn't have any creatures. Maybe I didn't put enough creatures in it. Who knows? Okay, there we see your vampire bats. Well, I got a trike that's a creature, of course, but it's, it's six. Ideally, you want to have it not expector or another low casting cost creature. Okay, this is pretty nice. Demonic Tutor. What do tutor for? That's the question. Contract from below, perhaps? Um, hmm. What do tutor for? That is an interesting question. Like, moat would be nice. I think I'm going to go for a contract from below because that's going to draw me cards. I'm not gonna play it out yet. I'm just first gonna wait for him to play out some more stuff that I can put my swords and spirit link on and then just gonna contract away. Look, another target, that's perfect. There we go. I'm gonna play the planes. Could play the contract now. I'm only gonna lose, but spirit link is really good to gain life. Hmm. 
I'm going to contract it. I'm going to do it. Okay, so now I can have Dark Ritual into Hypnotic Spectre. Let's do that. Hopefully this, this hippie can stick. And then I can uh, force him to discard some cards. Uh-oh, why damage? I was afraid that this was going to happen. Weakness in combination with Rod of Ruin. Uh, yeah, that's not great. Um, let's play Moat. Pass the turn. Ay -ay -ay. So this, this contract didn't really help me that much. Maybe should have looked up something else. But I mean, in hindsight, you always know what to do, right? Uh, let's play Planes. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. Because the queen cannot do anything. I can always put a weakness on it later. <laughs> yeah. I got a disenchant. Disenchant a rot. Should have done that earlier, actually. I just don't want to take any damage unless I really, really have to. Okay, discard phase. There's another swamp. Yeah, maybe my deck right now is a little bit too defensive. One black mana, what's gonna happen? Another queen, okay. Let's play a weakness in one of them. And let's pass the turn. I need Sarah Angel, Thunder Spirit, if not Expectors. Hmm. Uncle Istvan, okay. I like the combo Uncle Istvan with Sorcerer's Queen, that's funny. You just gotta find a way to pump Istvan's power, like maybe put an unholy strength on it. Another uncle, okay, okay. Another Mox, that's not going to help me right now. Mm -mm -mm. Man, if I would have known how many mana sources I would have drawn, then maybe I would have just gone for a big creature to attack with, like a Sarah or something. Hey, there we go, Thunder Spirit, that's something. Okay, so I'm going to cast Thunder, Thunder Spirit. I'm going to play a Weakness on the Queen. No! So many answers! Done. I probably should have boarded in White Knights now that I think about it, but I don't think I have any White Knights in my defense. Ay, 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 ay. Um, okay, let's play the moat. I mean, the Dancing Scimitar. <clears throat> That's the moat's already there. This is incredibly annoying. Um, I guess I could play out a second mode just to be sure. Pass turn, I guess. There's nothing I can do, really. Maybe I can find a disenchant, disenchant the weakness. Oh, that's good. But he cannot attack with it, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, yeah, nothing we can do. Wow, it's really a standstill. This this wasn't the way I kind of had in mind when I built the deck. I thought it would actually be quite, well, not fast, but they would have enough creatures and, and enough removal. But then again, my opponent also has so much removal, so I think that's the problem. Finally, a Sarah, right? Hopefully, the Sarah could just break through. I have to admit, I'm a little worried. Like, the deck is not as good as I thought it was going to be. I mean, this is just the first game, and it's really a drag. Um, let's 
attack. Let's see what happens. Yay! Finally dealing some damage. Um, I just got to pass. I probably should have included drain lives now that I think about it, because I've got I've got the rituals, I've got a lot of mana sources, I've got the um, uh, the black lotus. So drain life would be quite good in here. Oh look at that! Okay, I'm gonna play a weakness. I'm gonna play a dark ritual. I'm gonna moat just to empty my hand. Then I'm gonna contract from below. Yay, more firepower. So we get Black Lotus. There we go. Um, let's first attack. See what happens. Let's first attack. Okay, that's good. Um, we're going to go Sarah Angel, I think. Good. Um, we're going to go Hypnotic Spectre. With the Black Lotus. Let's use the Lotus. It feels nice. Play Black Lotus. Bam, bam, bam. Lotus into Hippie. Sarah on the board. Can you imagine being able to play Contract from below, like in actual Magic? Yeah. Uh, you know, in old school, that would be insane. Like, black would be the most popular color instantly. It's already quite a good color without the Contract. Um, okay. I am thinking I've got this plan. Because you're thinking, why is he not killing, um, finishing the game right now? But I, I think what I want to do is play a Swords to Plowshares on my own creature. So I go up to 26, then finish the, the job. Oh no, he got killed. Oh, I forgot the Mana Vault. I could have gained four more lives. Magic, magic is, is a difficult game, people. You, you gotta forgive me. I forgot the man. I didn't see the mana vault. Anyway, let's just continue. Um, the Necris. Another Necris. I haven't played a Necris yet. I'm on 23. I'm gonna do it. Carrion Ants. Oh, Carrion Ants. That's bad. He gets to play as well. Oh, I got, I got weakness. Okay, let's check my hand. I didn't do that earlier. Weakness. Trike. Swamp. Thunder Spirit, Strip Mine, Hypnotic Spectre, and another Weakness. So I'm really happy with the weaknesses. I think Weakness in general should probably see more play, right? In, in regular old school. It's way better than you think. Uh, I'm gonna go for Planes. Hopefully next turn I can or play out the Hippie. Ooh, he's got to discard stuff. That's ideal. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be patient. I'm going to take away his one remaining mana. That means I am delaying my own Hippie or my, my Thunder Spirit, but I think it's worth it. Because maybe if he plays with Dark Rituals, who knows? With that one Swamp, he can start Dark Ritualing out stuff. We don't want to do that. Wow, that's cool that he plays that card. Cosmic Horror. What a boss. I love it. Um, okay, we go Swamp. We go Hypnotic Spectre. Now we can start discarding his hand, because we're evil. We're pure evil. Let's attack, people. I love it. Um, planes, Thunder Spirit. <laughs> um, what can we do? I'm just going to attack him here. Full on. Exactly, take it. Um, this is the kind of victory I was anticipating. I am going to disenchant the rod because I just, I even, I don't want to take a single point of damage. Remember, life loss has taken over, so I really don't want to go to a lower, lower number here. Unfortunately, no land, or else I could have played the trike. Maybe you're wondering why the trike in this deck with modes. Um, it's just because there are so many good tutus like the Sorcerer's Queen, the Royal, the Carrion Ants. That at the, if you time it right, you can do, deal so much, can kill so many creatures with your trike. You know that's why. 
Escape zombies. Okay. Um. Let's attack. I'm gonna hold my thunder spirit back. We'll block the zombies. Okay. Oh wow. Um. Let's see. I guess I just gotta sort it. Um, let's just attack with everything. I mean, my hippie gets bigger from the bad moon. That's cool. And then I'm going to go Sarah Angel. And passes a turn. Dark Ritual. Ooh, Bark Wreath. Bark Wreath is a bit of a problem. Although I've got a trike, so I could go... Well, I've got disenchant as well. Oh, I'm going to kill him anyway. Why am I making life so complicated? He's dead. He's on seven. Hey, okay, so this is good. Ooh, and netter fiend. Netter fiends are kind of tough. Ooh, I get a black lotus, though, in my opener. Okay, I'm going to go against netter fiend. Uh, I've got a lotus. Should be fine. Ooh, I get to start, play first. Start the duel, okay. Weakness, Swamp, Moats, Swords, Thunder Spirit, Swords, Dancing Scimitar. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go Weakness. I'm gonna cast Thunder Spirit with the Lotus. And now let's just hope I'm gonna draw into more mana. Good, that's a swamp. I would love some white. White mana would be sweet. Because now if he gets, oh, if he's got a terror. Okay, yeah, Earth Raider is also not great. Okay, Scrub Lab, that's what I need it. That's what I need it. It's gonna attack. I mean, I, I can always, I can sorts in combat. I don't have to sorts now. I can just wait and see. Maybe he's gonna play something scarier that I need to sorts. Oh man. Not cool. I guess life loss is not carried over, by the way, because I see I'm now on 19, and I started, I should have started on 22, so I guess there's no life loss. Hmm, that changes my strategy a bit. Let's first attack with the Thunder Spirit. Putting on 16. Ooh, Scenic Poltergeist, that's a cool card. Um, I guess if I just moat, there's nothing he can do, really. Just gonna moat, slowly kill him. Ooh, that is good. <laughs> I love it, like Scenic Poltergeist, to make your hive a 5-5 creature, man. That's, that's style points. I love it. I guess I can sort it now, which would be a good move. Because, I mean, flying creatures is his, his ticket to uh, maybe victory, or at least to blocking my flyer, so. Oh, another one. Oh, he's making the same mistake again. But this time I don't have a disenchant or a swords. Anyway, um, I don't have enough mana. Why can I not play out the trike? I've got five mana. I, I, I thought I had six. Okay, let's go Dark Ritual into trike. Let's just attack. Put him on 12. There we go. And then if he starts making tokens, I can shoot them out of the sky with my trike counter. So that's kind of nice. Oh, Lord of the Pit. Oh no, Lord of the Pit. What a boss. Oh, I'm in serious trouble now. I'm in serious trouble. Oh no, this is so bad. A Lord of the Pit. Oh God. Oh no, am I gonna lose this now? Okay, let's 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 think about this. He's on 12. He's gonna swing in. I'm gonna go to 12. So I've got three turns to go. I need to deal 12 damage. 
I can get him to nine. Uh, probably not gonna make it. Oh, this is so bad. Um, what I could also do though, I can kill this dude. Because then he's gonna have an issue paying for the Lord's casting cost. Oh, it's gonna change it. Yeah, he sacked it. Oh man. This is an interesting game now with the Lord of the Pit. This is scary. Oh, Nether Shadow. Another one. Oh no. Um. I can put him on 10. Um, let's do that. Let's put him on 10. Because I want to keep the scimitar. With the scimitar, I can block the Lord at least a turn. So I only take two damage. Oh man, this is, this is going to be a tight match. Problem is... Oh man, this is scary. He's gonna put me on three. Oh no. Okay, I've got a swords. I got a swords. Um I think I gotta swords it. That's what I gotta do. I gotta swords it. I I could have I should have waited, by the way. I should have waited for him to make a token, sack the token to the Lord, then he attacks with the Lord, then he should have play the sword so it was a bit of a misplay but at least the sword saved me here I'm still alive I want three. Oh no he's got a run of ruin oh no he's gonna kill me no 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 oh god okay uh let's 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 have another look at my deck oh god oh that was oh man that was a beautiful victory, by the way, by the wizard. I got to respect that. Like Lord of the Pit and coming back from that and winning by animating my um, my trike. So using Rod of Ruin and my Triskelion, then playing Animate Dead on it. Like, I got to say that AI is, is impressive. I mean, this, this is a game from the 90s, people. It's really impressive. Let's see if I can, can find some place for Karmas. Maybe, maybe take one mode out. Um, maybe one dark ritual out because I kind of feel there. Maybe maybe just play with two dark rituals. Should have played Drain Life. Maybe it's a problem here. I've got too many options. Um, maybe one Drain Life. Life gain is good. Oh, I gotta. I guess I gotta put the hippie back. Do I have white knights? Karmas, where should I put karmas in? Let's just put two karmas and see if I can take something else out. White knights, do I have white knights? Northern Paladin, now that's a good card in the, in the castle. Royal Assassin would be good. You see, I don't have any white knights. Oh man, um, maybe take one weakness out, although I really enjoyed playing with the weaknesses. Um, let's see, we've got 16, 19, 22. We've got a lot of mana sources. So I feel like I can take out the planes, maybe. Take out a swamp. Right, because I also have the lotus and I've got dark rituals. <coughs> oh, that should be good. Mm. Maybe this is better, maybe not. I don't know. I only play with two disenchants, so that's not that many. Mm. Choices you gotta make, it's tough. I'm just gonna keep it this way, I think. Or should I take my scimitars out and maybe put my royal assassins in? Ooh. No, because royal you can kill with those weaknesses, I guess. Okay, we're gonna go in again. I'm not gonna give up. I don't know if you agree with my the changes I made. Let me know in the comments. I I don't know either, but wow, what a game it was! I have en I did enjoy it. Like it was cool. The way he beat me, that was absolutely epic. Respect. Uh, 
Okay, let's do the question. Which of these spells requires one red and, and zero colorless to cast? Will a fire system to flame Alibaba, Tempest of Freedom, Aladdin Dragon? Alibaba for sure. Alibaba, tap target wall, yeah. Ooh, so I could play the fiend to get to the dice. <sighs> Man, this is a tough spot. I guess I'm gonna do it. Ooh, I get to play first. Let's do it. Starting with the Rod of Ruin again. Um, planes, demonic planes, swamp planes. Okay. Um, I go for swamp. I go for swamp. Next turn, I can cast demonic tutor. But I mean, what do I want to look up? Ooh, there's a karma. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna. I could cast demonic now and. Let's go, Demonic. Should I go for Mox Pearl and the next turn I can play out my Karma? I think that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe I could have gone for another like contract from below, stuff like that, but I'm going to do this. Karma! Take the damage. Now he's gonna attack me with the Urk Raiders. It's gonna put me on 18. Oh, of course, gonna attack. It's so cool. Nether Shadow is one of the only creatures with haste. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I also, I also deal damage to myself. I'm so stupid. I didn't realize that. I'm the worst magic player ever. I am the worst magic player ever. Okay, whatever. Um, I am so stupid. At least I deal more damage to him than to myself. That's something. Uh, but let me think about life. Um, I could go for another Karma. Why not? And he takes four turn. I mean, I only I only have one Swamp at the moment. I'm fine. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm playing with Karmas and I'm, ah, oh man, I'm, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Um, what is wisdom though? Like I could go for hippie, but then I'm hurting myself. Mm. I could play disenchant on Rod of Ruin. Let's pass. Gonna drop to eight. Um, ooh, I could play swords, but then giving him two life. I guess I kind of need to. Another planes, okay. I could go contract from below. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Nothing I can cast. Let's pass. I mean, karma's working, but yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm so bad. So bad at this game. It's unbelievable. Oh, Mox Jet. Nice. Oh, let's go Sarah Angel. I mean, the karma is doing their job. It's just that it's also killing me. Killing me so. I don't want to kill the Urg Raiders because I don't want to give them life with Soul Net. So probably doesn't matter much, but oh, I'm playing another Swamp. That's stupid. I wasn't thinking. Uh, I'm just gonna pass turn. He should die to the karma. Okay, um, do 
do I want to continue though with the karma? Oh, is this is this the black? Is this the wizard? Okay, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight the wizard with my really bad karma plan deck. Let's do it. Let's go for it, people. Greater Lich. Or is this not the wizard? I thought this was the wizard. Yeah, it's the wizard, right? Okay, I'm gonna play first. I'm confident. Of course I'm gonna win this, no problem. Sir Angel, Plains, Thunder Spirit, Dancing Scimitar. Sw oh, nice, I can play the Swamp for the weakness plan. Go for it, people. Good, so that problem is solved. He's on 30 though, 30 life. Oh, of course, play a Wisp, that's fine. Now I really need mana next turn. Mana, 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 mana. Please give me mana. Against the Greater Lich. Bog Imp. That's kind of cool art. Hmm, I got a sword. Do you want to put that on a Bog Imp? I don't think so. Problem here is mana. Mana, mana, mana. I still cannot believe that I build a deck with black and white and put karmas in it. That's the, that's the stupid move. Oh, God. Can you believe I've been playing Magic for over 25 years and I'm still this bad? I love it. I love the game. True Timmy. Okay, that's interesting. So the Vice is gonna kill me. The Sangir is definitely a nice target. So let's first play it out before I can take Vice damage. Um, hmm. I should be on blocking duty, I feel. Next turn I can, oh man, I just, I need mana. We can talk about it forever, but I need mana. I mean, if he's going to attack with the Bog Imp... Oh, it's got First Strike, so at least I can... Yes, a mana. That's good. I can go for Scimitar. I guess I can attack now, because I've got the Scimitar to block. Let's do it. Hmm. Okay, I got a Weakness. Bit of weakness. Uh, just gonna play mode first. I guess I could play oh, weakness on on the. Should have done that. Probably play weakness on the on the willow and then attack. Next turn. Ooh, I could go for the karma plan again. But do I want to go for the karma plan? <laughs> it's a little bit scary. Um, maybe? You know what? I'm going to do it. Whatever. I'm going to go for karma plan. Whatever. Is it a bad decision? We will see. We will see. Oh, God. Really? It doesn't have trample, does it? So I can just block anyway. Let's just block on this. Whatever. Um, I don't want to take damage, so I guess I should put a weakness on this. Done. I mean, karma is, karma is kind of working, right? He's taking, what, six damage a turn? I'm fine. Yeah, sure, you're rot of ruin me, man. You need 13 turns. Well, actually, with the karma damage, I guess you need six turns. But still, that's that's more than you have, my man. Um, I could cast Sarah Angel. Let's do it. Pass the turn. Take the Go to eight. You get two more turns. I can always sort my own angel for extra life. Okay, Gloom, sure, go Gloom. We've got a scimitar, okay. Um, 
This is close over 8.8. Eight. I think I want to keep my swords to plowshares open, right? Do I? I'm going to go for Danzig Scimitar. I mean, Scimitar is giving me an extra blocker, which is good if he does something funny. I don't know. He's on two. I mean, this is basically his last turn. He's got to, got to kill me now. I'm on eight. This doesn't matter. Karma damage. Sure. Sure. Go to six. Sure. Fast turn. Let's let's see what you what you can do, man. I have defeated the Black Wizard. <laughs> I always said it was a good idea to add Karma to a white and black deck. I mean, I never doubted it for a second, right? You saw it. You saw how good it is. You may take any three cards from the Black Castle. Um. No, I don't want to take this. Go away. Um. Instant. Sorcery. There's no demonic tutor though, that's too bad. I guess we need another scrubland, because I've got three, so we need one more of those. Mm, enchantments, is there anything cool to get? The thing is, we already have so much, right? Maybe we should just get some cool creatures. Um, <laughs> should we get Lord of the Pits? Nightmare's cool. Abomination, Banshee. Cosmic Horror, that's such a cool card. Ghost of the Damned. Oh, we can get... Yeah, Guardian Beast is just not that useful in... in like, as soon as I see Guardian Beast, I want to get it because it's such, such an epic creature. But in this game, it's not that good. Um, Lost Soul, Mold Demon, Merc Dwellers, Netling Imp. Hmm. Let's see, you know what I'm gonna get? I think it's funny. I'm just gonna get two Cobble Ghouls. Well, probably I can only take one, right? Okay, then it's gone. Um, let's get Demonic Hordes. Demonic Hordes, cool. Hey, yay, we defeated the castle. Okay. Let's see, let's save our campaign. Tim the Enchanter. I feel, I'm feeling good about myself. We defeated the Black Wizard, that's great. Let's let's just now go go back to uh, oh yeah we have this deck as well oh this deck is funny but I'm just gonna go <laughs> gonna go back to what I know oh I lo lost the hypnotic of course I was playing with four hypnotics in that deck okay let's get the hippie back in now oh hypnotic specter. We don't have any more hypnotic specters. There's a royal in here also. Let's put Time Twister in here just because it's cool. Um, okay, let's have a look. I mean, we have some time to burn. I'm now here. Oh, there's an attack. You know what? We're going to free that city. Get over there. Boom. Of course I want to duel you. I don't want to lose because, I mean, I'm already a hippie short. Play first. Start the duel. Undergrounds. Well, look at this hand, by the way. Mock Sapphire, Underground Sea, Black Lotus. Contact from below in my hand. I can go. I can go first turn Sengir. Got to do it. We got to go first turn Sengir. Hey, 
Hey, Segir, turn one. There you go. This deck is so unfair. This deck is so unfair. The problem with this deck, though, is there's no life gain. And I need life gain if I want to win against that dragon dude. That's at the end of the rainbow of this uh, this uh, this game. Let's go Dark Ritual into Dancing Scimitar. Backfire. Oh, man. For each one damage dealt to you by enchanted creature, Backfire deals one damage to the creature's controller. Gotta love, gotta love Backfire. Another card that hardly sees any play. I think maybe in some kind of burn deck, Backfire could be good. Could it? Mm, I think I'm gonna contract. Mox Jet. I'm gonna strip the island. I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be that guy. Now I'm gonna add, attack with my scimitar. Look at that, he's got no permanence, or she's got no permanence. It's going well. Um, I'm not gonna time walk, not just yet. I'm gonna play Sengir, then attack with the gear, then I'm gonna play time walk. That turn, you know? Let's go Swamp, let's go Sengir. And let's hope the Sengir gets the stick. Sengir, Sengir, Sengir. Look at that, two time walks, that's insane. Um, I could play clone and a time walk. So I'm gonna clone this. I'm gonna play time walk. Gonna attack. Gonna take my extra turn. I can already win. Uh, it's, it's so bad. I mean, I'm playing four time walks. Like this deck is just insane. I'm so sorry, this deck is insane. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna take the dungeon clue. Oh, wait a minute, I can get Ivory Tower, the path of Kronos. Okay, I gotta find out where that is. Um, the path of Kronos contains what? One deck for all those life loss carried over. Crusade permanently in effect. Hmm, so I could play maybe white blue for that dungeon. But we don't know where it is. Trade blue amulets for any lands. I don't really need any lands at the moment. Let's see. Buy cards and If you combine personal incarnation with sword supply shifter, you can prevent your personal incarnation from going to the graveyard and gain six life. Wow! <laughs> so bad. I guess you could do it in response to a terror, you know? So you don't lose half your life. I get that. I get it. But it's so bad. It's so funny. I love. I love this game. I love this game. Ah, uh, where are we at? We're Harnwall. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna walk a bit. I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Maybe go to Lauren Hall. Or, or is there maybe a dungeon nearby? Contains small black creatures. No, north of Blood Sand Tower. So where's Blood Sand Tower? I'm so bad at like finding places here. Do you guys see Blood Sand Tower? I don't see Blood Sand Tower. Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna walk a little. I'm just gonna walk towards this blue city to free it, and if, if I if I find something in between, you know, whatever. I'm gonna see if there are any quests with mana links. Re wow, reward you with a mana link. Yes, sir. Take this message north to my brother, the Keeper of the Haven. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll go to the Haven. I guess this is not the Haven yet. Oh, the Haven is on the other side. Okay. Let's go to the Haven. Walking towards the Haven. Yay, a letter. Trade white amulets for blue cards. No, I'm not going to part with my white amulets. No way. No way, Jose. Um, 
Okay, let's just go down again. Let's go down again. Accept tribute, sure. Secrets from the Blue Castle, of course. Flood is permanently in effect. Oh no, the Flood is in effect. <laughs> you gotta love this game. I love, by the way, Flood and Gravity Sphere. It's a combo, check it out. Uh, okay, let's go here. Duel the Sea Dragon, yes. Ah. Play first. Island, Mox Jet, Demonic Tutor, Clone, Underground Sea, Swamp, Underground Sea. Okay, so we can go Underground Sea, Mox Jet, Demonic Tutor? Um, and then I'm going to do what I see so often happening in my videos. We tutor for an ancestral recall. Just like being at an old school magic tournament. There's a mana vault. Now that's a good card. And I am playing with blue. So I think he likes that. Uh, let's go. Ancestral recall. Of course me. Dark ritual. Could use that to play out of Tim, but it's just not that good. I'm gonna pass. I, I wanna use Dark Ritual with Brain Geyser, which is actually pretty sweet. <laughs> Ooh, a giant tortoise. A giant tortoise, eh? Let's play out the Tim. If he attacks with the tortoise, I guess the best play here would have been if we would be at like a tournament. There we go, there's a sea serpent. I'm getting punished for my play. I should have not played the Tim, keep counter magic open. Instead, I'm getting punished. Which is, I mean, this 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 is a problem. At least I can clone it. I'm gonna clone it. Nice, we both have sea serpents. You gotta love this, you gotta love it. And he's taking a damage from his mana vault, so that's good. Forgot to ping him. That is bad. Um, let's play out the hippie. Ooh, counter, I can counter. The, let's counter the counter spell. I love it. We've countered the counter spell. I'm always happy when that happens. Like that's next level magic. Ooh, fantastic. I'm going to ping you for one, Sea Dragon. Let's go Swamp. The problem is I don't want to go go Contract from below. Um, but I'm going to do Dark Ritual. Oh, he changed him into Swamps. I don't have... I thought he would change him into to Islands. Oh, I cannot play out my, my Brain Geyser. Oh, that's stupid. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, then I'm going to go Contract. Because then at least I can cast something. I don't take Mana Burn. Um... One, two, three. That was so funny. I assumed he used the Phantasmal Terrains to give me islands because that's what he usually does. So I thought I'm going to play Huge Brain Geyser, but yeah, he didn't do it. Um, you know what? I'm going to attack with a Sea Serpent because how often can you attack with a Sea Serpent? Trading places, passing turn. Sea Serpent for Sea Serpent. Ooh, Creature Bond. Another card that you used to see play back in the day. I mean, Creature Bond, Wrath of God would be kind of funny, right? When you play a deck like that. Um, I mean, what you can do is you can play four Wraths, four Creature Bonds, um, maybe some Control Magics, whatever. Or some anime deaths after the Wraths. That would be kind of cool. Maybe play, play some uh, Psychic Venoms, you know, that he takes damage for playing the cards out. And you, anyway, it's just an idea. Let's attack here for six. We got to play Papa Moti. I mean, it's Papa Moti. I can win with the tip. That has been a while. I'm going to ping you for one. Sea Dragon. And I'm going to ping you for one, Sea Dragon. Hey, Timmy Victory. Uh, I'm going to take the Dungeon Clue. 
Hey, okay, where is it? Contains south of Windless Keep. Okay, we need to go to Windless Keep. We really do. Go, 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 go. Uh, trade black amulets for blue cards. I'm fine. Windless Keep. Where is Windless Keep? Windless Glade. Windless Keep. Okay, so we're gonna go to Windless Keep. We're gonna pass a Lauren Hole. We're gonna free a Lauren Hole. Then we're gonna go to Windless Keep. Okay, that is that is the big plan. We got a. I like it. I like it when we have a plan. Let's go. Let's do it. Windless Keep. A creature that that I still got a duel. Sure. I'm surprised the creature's not begging for mercy. Oh, look at my hand. <laughs> that's, that's all lands in the counter spell. Guess it could be worse. At least I got a counter spell, you know. I can just play my second C and 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 sit back. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I mean, I don't want to use time walk just to cycle away, right? I want to wait for time walk to be useful. Even though I've got four time walks in the deck, but still. I guess I could have countered the tin. Playing the ship. Oh wow, now oh, I should have countered the tin. Look at this. It's a 6-6. Six, six. God, oh he's not even attacking with it. I'm lucky. Uh, oh, this is really an issue. Uh, let's first attack. Let's just attack. Uh, I'm going to play Time Walk, for sure. I should have countered his Tim so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, another Time Walk. You know what? I'm going to attack. I'm just going to Time Walk again. Whatever. Basically, my Time Walk now says deal two damage, but whatever. Uh, another Island. I mean, I don't want to... I want to keep my Ghost Ship on blocking duty, because he's got that 6-6, six, six, dude. I'm just gonna pass the turn. Wow, this is insane. It's it, it will slowly die to the to the unstable, so that's something, but it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna counter. I'm gonna counter. Okay, okay, got my moti. One, two, three, four. Four, uh, and I can counter as well still. That's awesome. Uh, I guess I can attack because the Modi can block the huge Tim. He should have attacked that turn that he pumped it up. He should have just gone for it, you know, at least hit me for six with, with a huge, huge muscled up Tim. That would have been kind of cool. Um, oh, he's got the combo. What a legend. The legends he's got the combo i'm sorry i gotta kill it but i love i love this combo you know fungusaur and that and timmy is really cool um what's the deck mm, i'm not going to play out royal because i want to keep uh regeneration mana open which wasn't necessary because it's going to go down to three three i forgot about that i thought it would still be a four four but anyway we'll survive we'll survive okay we got a swamp now we can attack. Put him on one. I'm playing a little bit sloppy. Should have attacked with the ship, obviously. Killed him. Giving him a free turn. That's dangerous. Giving opponents extra turns. Dangerous. Don't do it. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't give your opponent extra turns. Let's go. Let's finish the job. I won these cards. Okay, I'm not sure if I won the cards, but. I found an island, okay. <laughs> found an island, yes. Green amulet, uh, no thank you, I've got a mission to do. Okay, we're all almost at a Lauren Hole, so we're gonna try to free a Lauren Hole. There's a Lauren Hole, let's go for it. Let's go people. Ooh, a mox jet. We don't want to lose this jet. 
Let's go for it. Let me start. Oh, no. Oh, they just start with Serendip. Oh, no. Okay, let's check. What do I have to work with? Clone, Hypnotic Spectre, Ghost Ship, Time Walk, Mox, Sapphire, Island, Dark Ritual. Okay. So at least I can go... Sapphire, Time Walk. Take an extra turn. Okay, this is really good below this. Um... What is, I think Ghost Ship is a really good option here because Ghost Ship blocks the Serenip and he still takes damage from it. And then later I can play a clone on it. I think that's the best option. Ghost Ship. Um, yeah, let, let's use, let's use the Lotus. And we just play it. Oh, and then I can also do Dark Ritual into Hypnotic, but I, the thing is, if he gets rid of the ghost ship, I want to be able to play my clone the turn after. So I'm just going to be a little bit conservative. I mean, I'm going to block. Maybe he's got no weakness or anything. Okay, that's good. Oh, look at this. Dark Ritual into Sengir. Yeah, that's really good. Now we can attack with the ship. Put him on 18. Of course, he takes damage from his own Surrender. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I'm gonna attack. Sure, that's a trade I'm willing to make. Um, do I want to time walk? That's a question. You know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna pass turn. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. Ooh, Time Twister, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna Time Walk. Let's attack, it's like a freebie, right? Ooh, I can play Time Walk for the first time, that's cool. Do I want to though? I type Time Twister, I mean. Do I want to though, at this point? <sighs> oh, you know, you know what? No guts, no glory, whatever. We're gonna do it. Um. Okay, I got a Swamp, I got a Factory. Control magic, that's kind of nice. Um, Sengir, Hypnotic. It's a good hand. I guess it could go for, for Factory, and then next turn I can play out um, a Sengir, which is good. Oh, there we go though. Like, oh, he also of course gets a lot of cards with the Time Twister. Funny fact, uh, I don't own a Time Twister. It's the last piece of power that I still need. I am working on getting one. So please don't click away the ads. Don't use ad blocker. I need like the two cents for, for my Time Twister, please. Um, anyway, let's get back to the game. Uh, ooh, carrying ants on the board. I could, I guess I could steal the carrying ants. Let's see, if I time walk, I've got three mana left to play a Spectre. One, two, three to cast a Spectre. I know I take damage, but I'm going to get an extra turn, so it's worth it. I'm going to put him on 11, and I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to force him to lose a card. Okay, and now the question is, do I want to control magic the carrying ants? Well, let's first play a swamp. I think it's worth it. I think I should do it. Because the carrying ants can get really big and then I have a serious problem. So I think it's worth it. Downside is that I don't have counter magic to, to keep open, but, he, you know, he lost the card to the, um, to the hippie. So I, I think I'm pretty okay. He only has two cards left, it seems so. I mean, a Yoshin Soldier, not 
really scared of the Yoshim soldier. Working title for Yoshim soldier, by the way, was Toy Soldier. Maybe I said that already. Sorry if I'm repeating myself with these Magic the Gathering facts. Um, power sinking. No way, Jose. Want my Black Lotus. Um, let's attack with both, because then I'm going to cast my Sengir. Oh, this is stupid. Why do I do this? Okay, at least I've got a mana sink with the carrying hands, but I'm not gonna play the contract. Give me a new hand. Underground C. Ooh, I could time walk. Wow, that is really good. I'm I'm so I'm so sorry, Chandler. My deck is just insane. My deck is insane. Um, I guess we can finish it already. Yay, I freed the people. The people are rejoiced. Um, buy cards, nothing here. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to save it for now. I mean, this has been a fantastic run, right? We, we, we saved the village. We freed the village. We beat the Black Wizard. Um, and more importantly, we know the location of this, um, the Paths of Kronos. So this is the dungeon I want to go in. Why? We need life gain. Right now, the only life gain I have is one Spirit Link Uno, and I've got zero Ivory Tower. So if I can get Ivory Tower in here, right, I can build the right deck to potentially just gain a lot of life and try to defeat the end boss, which comes directly after defeating the last wizard, right? So. I've got the blue wizard still to defeat, but I first want to go into this dungeon, get the ivory tower, try to get some more life gain, make maybe a three color deck, white, black, blue, I think maybe a hundred cards, make a huge, big, big deck to try to defeat that final planeswalker. Okay, that that is my plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but that, I'm sticking to it. I've got a plan, which is good. Anyway, um, let, let me first save it before I forget anything else. Let's also save the backup. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please join me again next week because then I'm going to go into that Kronos dungeon to try to find the Ivory Tower. So I guess I got to call that the quest for the tower. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching and uh, have a great, great week. And the rest of your Sunday, of course. Yeah, this was good. Good session. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Drunken sailor? Drunken sailor?